Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Damaris Jenga and those who are continuous or good subscribers and good followers of my channel. Hi, thank you so much for being here. I am so grateful. And for the new subscribers, you're so much welcome to my family. I am grateful that you are growing. And yes, yeah, so by now, if you, you should be knowing, if you watch my last video, I am in Nanyuki County or Nanyuki Town. I had come for just a few days, an adventure and to explore beautiful places. Yeah, so this video I just realized while I was editing it's somehow just all over the place like for example see how I did the intro Hi guys, good morning. So here we are starting a new day. I hope you're ready to explore Nanyuki and I am late so let me tie my shoe as I like to tell you all about the day Yup guys So today I'll be exploring Nanyuki town and I'm so late. I really wanted to do a room tour but it's already in the morning and the, the room looks so messy. Ha 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 ha. You guys are going to see how messy I can become. But anyway guys, today we're going to be going to some very interesting place. So I hope you stick around for that. And yeah, I hope you stick around. We see what Nanyuki has in store. I'm so I'm told it's where like na the Navi, the army. Okay, what am I even saying? The army. The headquarter of the biggest in Africa actually yeah they reside here if I didn't make sense I will put a line of what I am meaning but anyway guys I am done and I'm a bit late anyway after that I went to some beautiful but beautiful it's beautiful it's breakfast beautiful anyway some sweet breakfast which I enjoyed and I was so full yeah, after that let me show you that mirror Hi guys, good morning. Yeah, I am taking breakfast at Nanyuki. Yeah. Let's see what Nanyuki has to offer. So you guys, I was supposed to wake up at around 6 so I can wake up go see Mount Kenya because I'm told in the morning before the sun comes you're able to see Mount Kenya and view it clearly but who is Damaris you know a girl slept actually I woke up around 7 7 30 by 8 30 I had left like the room and uh, yeah so after that I went for a short road trip where I was told I visited Meru so I can feel like I was in a different county yeah let me give you a short b-roll of that, me going to Meru and the views you get and also a small snippet of Mount Kenya regardless of it being so early and the sun having come up and so it was not so clear but I was able to see something, you know. Down. Like in the actual Meru. Mm. Meru ni hapa. Uli niambia to Meru town how many kilometers? That's less than an hour. of all this let me tell you of places you can come visit here in Nanyuki number one Old Pejeta Conservancy you can come here and uh, enjoy seeing beautiful animals wild animals they have been conserved and yeah another place you can come visit is the Mount Kenya game game ranch yeah, Mount Kenya game ranch I had not purpose to go to those places but maybe next time we will you know yeah Somewhere else, somewhere interesting that no charges, no nothing, and it's just nature and everything is the equator which I was privileged like to go and experience and be explained to. Suppose you don't know what an equator is, like you guys, me I'm telling you, I was so bad in social studies. 
that, that today I had to ask but they remind me what equator used to mean and I was told it's zero latitude and zero longitude whatever latitude and longitudes are but at least I remember we used to draw like those and then you have the zero degrees and something you know anyway at least I have a clue <laughs> Yeah, so I was privileged to go and experience like that demonstration of how the Ukita and everything and let me drop that note right about now. So my name is William. Yeah. I just take this opportunity and I welcome you to the equator. Okay, thank you. Where we are standing. Uh -huh. So the equator is a bunch of line yeah. which divides the world into two hemispheres. So to on a northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere. So we need to move either side of the equator so that we can tell the difference between North Pole and South Pole. So let's start. Minimum distance is 20 meters mm -hmm. um, away from where the signboard is yeah. or not. So at this point, you need to look at the behavior of the water. Water. Do you see anything happen? No. No. And uh, when it is draining, it's going that way. Yeah. So when it is draining, what can you see? The shadow? Yeah, it's the shadow. Yeah, then we have the whirlpool on top. He was mm -hmm. going to eat a whirlpool. Whirlpool. Yeah, you go up with you. So now again, when it is draining, you look at the water. You know what I mean? It's going to spiral. Oh, yeah. So your screwdriver sort of, mm -hmm. and then come out of the stunning light hand. Mm -hmm. And that is the point why we have to use the indicator now. Mm -hmm. So to be a hero, the tornado is going to be in the Sukuka Bandaya North, the Bandaya South, the other way down. So that stick up is the indicator. So? The stick up is the indicator. I don't get you. The stick up is the indicator. Yes, 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 for sure. Show the direction. So it's clockwise when you are in Northern Hemisphere. And the speed is small, the farther you go. Then the closer to the equator, the slower. The slower. We're going to the other side. Heading to the south hemisphere now. So the minimum distance mm -hmm. is longer 20 meters. Yeah. So in between, in between is now that is now the equator. Galia says when it is not draining. Yeah. And when it is draining. So we normally let it drain because the earth is still spinning. The earth is still spinning, and that's why the shadow comes in. Your wild pool at the same time, yeah. then uh, when you look at the bottom, really you can right. see the spirals as well. Yeah. So they are turning the other way out. Yeah. And if you don't let it drain, you are in a potter. So you know, mm. uh, So you have to keep it draining so that you can see. Now, this is anti clockwise, but light now which is clockwise. You know, I know the equation and the so now it is the other way down. And now we need to stand exactly where the line is crossing. Okay. Let's go. The disturbances of the wind, you know? Mm -hmm. the, wind is, uh, the wind is all over in our universe, so it's like we can't avoid it. So the wind will move the indicators from one side of the board to the other, the but other no side. chance for a uniform circulation. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Just but the equator, you, you have to look at uh, several stuffs. Mm -hmm. There is no shando, there is no whirlpool, the indicator is not turning, wow. and the water is still draining. Then if you look at the bottom, you don't see the spiral. Oh, so it's down. straight. Yeah. yeah. So the scientific phenomenon is called Coriolis force or Coriolis effect. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So thank you very much. Okay, thank yeah. you so much. Mm. Uh, hey, I'm still at the equator, near the equator area, and uh, suppose you don't know what equator means, it means zero latitude and zero longitude. If you asked me before today, I had forgotten, like you guys, it was so poor in 
our soap wine, so she was trying this our soap wine. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. You see more visitors are there to just enjoy that explanation. Yes, I hope you have enjoyed <laughs> like a small story there, you know. So let's go explore Nanyuki town. So something, let me tell you, Nanyuki is not a very big town, but I have loved the fact that it has two malls. The one barely works and because that's where Nakumat was and if you're a Kenyan, you know Nakumat no longer works. And so it has really population or little things happening there. But there is this mall where I am actually right now. It's called Sida Mall. I am loving it. I love the fact that you can come do shopping here because, you know, it has Chandarara. It has... KFC, Mr. Walk. Yeah, so you can come just have some good time like I am currently. <laughs> yes, guys. So it's around 11.20. By 11.40, I should be out of this county. Finally. But then I didn't tell you this. Nanyuki has an airstrip. I don't even know if you can hear like a plane or something. Yeah, but it's, it's something that is not found in so many counties. So that's a bonus for... I did I say Nanyuki? Yes, I mean Nanyuki. I thought I said like India. Yes, Nanyuki. Yeah. So that's a bonus for this town. So I was telling you earlier before, like that idea came in mind, is that I'm supposed to be leaving by right now, and if I continue staying here, I am going to get late and that. Uh, yeah. So my journey here at Nanyuki has been short-lived, but I have enjoyed the small time I have been here. I have I have seen different things and I have experienced a different place sleeping in a different county and I am now going to the next county which I am excited about because I have more plans for that county than I had for here so we're gonna spend another t another another night in another county and guys I will see you in my next video as we discover what county I went next to yeah so if you're not from Kenya you don't maybe you don't know there are 47 counties in Kenya and Nanyuki is one of them the next one I'm going to I have been to Na Nakuru Nairobi, Kiambu, and all those logs you have seen. So now we are going to another county and experience something different. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's go. Anyway, guys, oh, I was supposed to say finally we've come to the end of this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in my next video.